All right, guys, Kazoo71 here on my Scorched Earth playthrough for beginners. Um, this is just for beginners, not for people who've been playing for a long time like I have. So just showing you guys some different things that I'm doing. Now, in a previous episode, I showed you guys me taming some phoenixes. So what I want to do is in this one just show you guys a couple of tames of uh, phoenixes. It's going to be kind of a shorter video. Well, yeah, 12 minutes or so. But I want to show you guys the whole process, not building the trap, but actually going through the taming process. So here's when I was sitting in my little shack that I had made waiting for the heat wave. And as you can see, the Jabol is telling me there's a heat wave coming. If you're interested in looking at that video, I have a video on the Jaboa sounds and what they mean. But that is the heat wave one right there. You can see its movements and the sound it makes. So we're gonna go out here, we're gonna get on my trap and get ready for this. So I got this trap from someone else and um, it's not my design. It doesn't work perfectly. You got to kind of alter it a little bit, but you can trap the phoenix in there. The phoenix will spawn five off the ground. So when you locate a phoenix, uh, you can do that with the parasaur. It'll ping it in the ground. You'll see a spot in the ground where it's at. You make the trap above it. And then once you do that, when the heat wave comes, it'll spawn inside the little trap. And then you can use a fire wyvern to burn it up. You can use the oil jars and fire. You can use a flamethrower. However you want to do it. You just need to light that sucker on fire till it's tamed. The cheapest way for me is a wyvern. Because uh, wyverns are not that hard to get once you get the first one. So, And that's what I've done. If you guys watch the previous ones, I'll put a link here for you guys to see the previous ones. If you want to see me build the trap and everything. But we're going to go ahead and just wait for this thing to go. I know it's dark out. It's hard to see. I've waited like several days on the game. This sometimes takes a very, very long time. It's very annoying. But here we are waiting for this thing to come. And then once it gets out, then we're going to light it on fire. And we're going to tame this guy. Now, just so you guys know, if you haven't seen my other video, there's a new update as far as March 31st coming out. Um, at the end of August, uh, Wild Card and Snail Games is going to totally do away with... All their official servers you'll still be able to play arc on single player so a lot of people are very frustrated about this it's going to be remastered with unreal engine 5 um, and released as arc survival ascended is the new name of the game that's going to be coming out so we we'll charge you all over for it again so you'll still be able to use this uh, my playthrough here if you're playing single player on the older arc survival evolve which is what this is right here that i'm playing on what i've been playing on for years and years and years love this game they've had a lot of ups and downs but what they're doing now some people are calling the cash grab it's really uh, yeah you can listen to my other video i think you know you put a lot of work into things you change things up yeah you need to get money paid for it that's how these games make money they can't just release a game and they did it one time and never get any more income coming in because then they're just going to have to uh survive off of that one thing and they can't do a lot of updates and stuff like that so yeah money wise i understand here we go here are the heat wave coming and there is the phoenix spawning right in front of me as you can see so now it's in the trap actually this one looked like it messed up and spawned below the trap but it's head stuck in the trap that's what it looks like <laughs> that's okay that'd be all right we'll still get him he won't get out of there because i got it set right where he can't actually get away so but we're going to light them on fire. And as you can see, sometimes what I try to do is I put the wyvern. I put a level of planks. You don't have to do all this stuff. You can just put a couple and stand up there throw jars at and stuff. But what I'm doing is using the wyvern. So I try to get to a level where I can hit it. And as you can see, I'm not doing that great. But you can see the taming effect is going up. So we're going to try a little bit of movement here and see if I can hit it from a different angle. Because it's not working right. It's kind of under the trap, like I said. It didn't work correctly this time. And that didn't work. I got to hit it at a right angle so I can actually get a lot of, uh, not a right as opposed to left angle, the right correct angle. So I can actually get the fire to hit it. So, um, yeah. People make fun of how I say things sometimes. It's kind of funny. Like I had a show a long time saying Ragnarok. I always called it Ragnarok. And I'm like, there's no A in there. Oh, well. This one at least is scorched earth. It's pretty easy to say. Me and my Cajun accent, I mess up a lot of stuff. So, but uh, this is a phoenix. That one's easy to say, and a fire wyvern. I used to call them waverns. No, <laughs> wyverns. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's all the same. Now, I'm gonna show you guys two phoenix tames in this one. So this is the one. As you can see, I finally found an angle that works, and I'm hitting it and taming it. And then we're gonna after I tame this one, I'm gonna flash forward to another one I found, and um, 
I'm going to tame that one as well. I'm just going to show you guys two tames in this video. Um, also some scorpions that attack me and stuff. But I'm not going to show you guys building a trap and all that stuff. And I want to apologize on the second one. I don't know what happened. I use the same recorder every time I record. But for some reason the volume on the second one, the actual game volume dropped dramatically. And I don't know why. So I'll turn it up in the video as I'm editing it. And you guys will hear it. It will sound a little different. I apologize. But you'll still be able to hear it really well. So, but anyway, he's almost there. We got him pretty close. Um, you can see, just keep lighting him on fire until he gets there. Um, I'm going to keep running out of stamina. If you had a higher level wyvern with a lot of stamina, this would be a lot easier. And, of course, if I didn't miss a whole bunch the first time because the thing spawned under the trap instead of in the trap, I probably would have got it tamed a lot quicker. But that's how this goes sometimes. Sometimes you just got to deal with, with the little glitches and the things that happen. They don't happen like they're supposed to. That's part of the fun of the game. Of course, it's not fun when you die and lose everything. But yeah, part of the fun. It's awesome. <laughs> That's why on my Primal Fear server, we're using that Death Inventory Keeper mod. So that way when you die, you keep all your stuff. You might lose your dino, but at least you keep all the stuff on you. Because you die a lot in that mod. There we go. We have another Phoenix Tamed. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I didn't show you guys me grabbing it, but I pulled that thing out, and it's going to jump forward to the other part here. So here we are. I'm out in the dune part. Here's where the next one I found is going to be. So as you can see, I'm getting a little bit of storm going on. It's telling me there's a storm coming. So we're getting close to this thing coming out. I was flying around, so I set the trap up, put my fire wyvern up there, and then I'm flying around on my lightning wyvern. I'm just kind of checking out the area, see if there's anything I want to tame while I'm waiting for this... Uh, phoenix to pop out so we can tame the second one and then uh, i'll show you guys the whole tame on this one when it actually comes out I'll, I'll put it in a soul ball and then i'll uh i'll throw it out and we'll take a look at it real quick but that other one i just kind of tamed it real quick it was dark i didn't want to mess with that part of it it's kind of hard to see everything and like that in the dark but waiting for like i said waiting for the heat wave i'm going to fly around a little bit more i got time Looking for one of these scorpions. Might as well tame a scorpion. I haven't tamed one of these yet. We'll grab this guy here. Bring him back to my trap. And we're going to go ahead and use my uh, harpoon launcher with the net projectile. Everybody calls a net gun for short. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and net this guy. I'm going to drop him right about there. And we're going to let him come chase me. Let's see if I can land correctly. You know, once I get off the wyvern, he'll come at me. Oh, maybe not. He's far away. Let's get his attention. Come here, little scorpion. I want to pet you. Wow, he don't even see me. Now he sees me. <laughs> Had to hit him in the butt. Now he's mad. These remind me of the scorpions on Clash of the Titans. That's kind of how they make these guys. If you guys ever seen the original scorpion, I mean, original Clash of the Titans. Old classic movie with claymation. There we go. Drop that sucker. Go ahead and shrink him and knock him out. Throw some spoiled meat or something in him and tame this guy real quick. Ain't gonna take much. Looking to see if it's there. It's unconscious now. Okay. See what we got here. Let's grab the spoiled meat. Like I said, I don't really care about this thing. I'm just taming it just to tame it while I wait. I'll throw some kibble in there too and spoil meat. The way it's got spoiled meat. You can tame them strictly with spoiled meat. You don't need the kibble. But we're going to go ahead and use the kibble since I got it. Use the correct kibble. I don't want to waste the high level one. There we go. We should be close to this phoenix I'm coming out. I mean, he's been telling me a heat wave is coming for quite a while now. That's the heat wave one. Like I said, if you want to watch that Jaboa radar video, it tells you what the weather is coming. It's pretty easy to find. I mean, pretty easy to learn which one's a witch. I still get them confused. Even though I did the video on it and I know the different ones, it's, it's still hard to tell which one the Jabal was trying to tell you. A couple of them, two of them look really close. But there you go. There's a heat wave. That phoenix is going to spawn right there. It's going to spawn right in the five high. This is perfect because it was level. The last one I showed you guys, it was a little off level. That's why it spawned under the trap. But this one spawned in the trap, so it should be good. We're going to get up here and get on my fire wyvern. And we're going to start blasting this thing and hopefully hit it. Let me see if I hit it. I did not hit it. That's a scorpion. I haven't hit it yet. Look at that. Right in front of it. Can't hit it. 
Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. All right, so we actually hitting it from here. So we just got to keep blasting this guy until it's, it's tamed up. And I'm watching the tame thing on the uh, tracker. That's that uh, tracking HUD, HUD tracker or tracking HUD, whatever they did that they added last. Actually, that was in 2021 20, they added that. It's been a long time. God, I've been playing this game for so long. I didn't play it when it first came out. I played it like about six months after it first came out. And I've been playing it since then. So it came out in 2015. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's my all-time favorite game. But I'm kind of upset what they're doing. But we'll see what happens with this Unreal Engine 5. We'll see what they do. Ark Survival Ascended. August 23. Ugh. That's okay. That's all right. I don't mind. We'll see what they do. They got a lot of fans that are, as, as people would say, pissed off fans. But, you know. I mean, it, it is what it is. This game's still playable. It'll still be playable. They're just doing it with the servers. Just imagine all those people who are playing on official server, though. I hate official, by the way. Official sucks. But all those people who are playing on official server are about to lose their maps and their games. And if they've been playing on official for years, they're going away. Goodbye. At least that's going to get rid of all these cheaters and these uh, Mega Tribe cheaters. Yeah, you can't even play on those PvP games. They're impossible. I don't like to complain, but I end up complaining about PvP quite a bit because um, it's okay if you're playing PvP and you're fighting people and you're dying. I, I think it's funny. But when you're not on the game, if you're like a single player or you're playing with a tribe of like two or three and no one's on, you can, your stuff can get wiped off while you're not there. So you can't defend yourself. So you got to have somebody on the game constantly to be able to defend yourself. And it, you just can't do that. People work. I mean, we have lives. So, there we go. We tamed the... Oh, that's not the phoenix. Never mind. That's the scorpion. Stupid scorpion. Hope I don't burn him. Oh, I can't burn him. He's my own. Just stop him from moving. He's following me. Let's get this phoenix tamed. Almost there. Very close. Very close. As you can see at the bottom right there, I have the thing that looks like a red background with a skull. That means I'm heat stroking. So... I've been out in the heat for so long, I'm suffering from heat stroke. The heat wave does that too. That's the red flame on the, not the little flame, but the big darker red flame on the bottom, but the left, the bottom row on the left, that's the uh, heat, heat wave going on. And that's what's causing me this heat stroke. So you start cooking in the heat wave and I'm gonna show you guys in a second. That's why I wanted to leave this part in. We'll go ahead and soul ball these guys and we're gonna take a look at them. And that's a Dino Storage version 2 mod that I'm using, guys. That's what that is. That's a soul gun. People ask me that all the time. As you can see, I got that heat wave going on. I got this flames. Not flames coming off of me, but this heat coming off of me. It's kind of funny. But anyway, Dino Storage version 2 mod. That's for the, uh, the ARC. I play that on all my servers. I have that. But hopefully that will be available for you guys on console with this new update coming out. Because you're going to be able to have mods and... Maybe these guys who created Dino Storage will do that for the Arc Ascended version. Who knows? All these modders, man. It's just going to change a lot of stuff coming out. Let's take a look at this guy real quick. So, and then I'm going to get off. I'm just trying to stay in here for just a moment. Kind of cool off for a bit. Let's throw this Phoenix out here. Take a look at it. And try to get a picture of it. But there you go, guys. Just a short episode. Tamed a couple of Phoenixes in this one. Also tamed some Jaboas that I cut out. It's, no one wants to watch you tame a Jaboa. Just punch a Jaboa and put some berries in it. That's what you do. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.